now from downtown. Here's Brian Dozier now. He will lead this one off today. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. Popped up. Voigt over to his right. He's got it one away. A chance now for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, I'm excited to see if that man in the sixth spot can keep it going. Last season, he won the National League Rookie of the Year. And I'll tell you what, he was so impressive. Particularly down the stretch, he never got fatigued, and he continued to produce from April till October. What a year he put together. And this Whoa, one's too man. far inside, ball two. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. And it's fouled away. And now he'll step off as they look for a strikeout pitch. Another try at 2 2. Popped him up. Voigt over to his left. Two gone. Now with the play, Justin Turner. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Strike one to start the at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. And this is bounced foul at the plate, and that moves the count to 0 and 2 now. Got him. Three. Standing in, Brett Gardner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack without question. In the bottom of the first, starting it off with a leadoff single gets everyone in your dugout going. Striding into the box, Aaron Judge. First delivery to him on the way. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Tried the old ambush tactic, and it almost worked right there. Wasn't able to keep that first pitch fastball fair. The at-bat, he's got a lot left in this. If he's able to let that one go, I still think. High and deep to center field. Bellinger going back. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Yeah, and that's what you call a dream scenario or an absolute nightmare, depending on your viewpoint. A power pitcher on the bump and a power hitter at the plate. A plus B equals see you later. It's simple math, folks. Now, this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. Well, it's very early, but he's looked out of sorts in the beginning. They've already roughed him up for two homers, and they're not done yet. We'll see if he can regroup or he blows up. Could go either way at this point. Here's Didi Gregorian. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Taking it in is Puig, and there's your first down. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? 
Well, I think all opposing pitchers are going to have their hands full with Brett Gardner. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands, always seems to turn in a good at bat, and he can do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. Line drive to left. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Around second, he's on his way to third. The relay, and he's out at third. Might have gotten a little greedy that time. Third baseman. Into the box now, Miguel Andujar, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. This is line to left. Hernandez is there, and he'll make the catch to retire. Leading off the inning, Manny Machado, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. The throw into second, and he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Next up for Los Angeles, number 13, who stands in for the first time in this one. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. No balls in one strike. Comes set and the 0 1. A fastball right over the outside corner. Sort of surprising to see a five hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start at bat. Now he's way behind the count, so we'll see if he can battle back. Machado leads off second with nobody out. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Cody Bellinger. First delivery to him on the way. Hit out towards second. And there are two away now. So here's Matt Kemp now, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Comes set, here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. A man on third with two down. him for strike three and that retires the side one left for El stepping in Gary Sanchez he'll be the one to start things here against Clayton Kershaw one of the keys to securing a win they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings now the pitch tap down the line Turner loves it and the inning begins with a quick out number one. At the plate, Luke Boyd. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First offering on its way. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. A ball and a strike. Hit back up the middle. Machado is there. Throw on to first will take care of him, and Kershaw is in control now. Two away. Now to the plate, Gleyber Torres trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. High in the air out to center field. Bellinger's under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Back from progressive field as we're set for the beginning of the third inning here on MLB Network. And now is Yasiel Puig. Previous history with Sabathia. He's hitless in three at bats. First pitch coming. Here it is. 
fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. Jumped ahead with strike one there and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And that slider's almost in the dirt. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. So it was a swinging strike three. Yasiel Puig becomes the first out of the inning. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. In for a strike, it's one and one. Two balls and a strike to count to Austin Barnes. Two and two to the Dodgers catcher. Here now the two two. He stays alive, still two and two. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Striding in, Brian Dozier, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's a fastball called for strike one. Eight, fastball two. and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Don't just assume as a hitter right here he won't triple up. He's got you down 0 2 and he might really want to get inside your head if he throws the same pitch again. Two out nobody on. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Here's Brett Gardner now. Second at bat here. He reached via a single to lead off the home first. In his first at bat, he hit that breaking ball for a base hit. It'll be interesting to see if he's sitting off speed again here in this AB. Puig is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. Digging in to try it again, Aaron Judge. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. The 1-0. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. Hernandez going back on it. And it's gone as they add still another. Wow, nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely owning him. This could be the latter. Jim Carlo Stanton now. But look out, hot shot to third, and there are two away. So here's the cleanup hitter, Didi Gregorius. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bellinger is in his tracks now as he tucks this one away to retire the side. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. Now batting, Kike Hernandez. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So striding forward now, Justin Turner. He got called out on strikes his last time through. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. He's been pitching really well so far in this one as we cruise into the middle innings. One of the big reasons why, 80% first pitch strike ratio. If he continues that, he might be able to finish this one. 
line drive to center field. Hicks is there, two gone. Here's Manny Machado now, and then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Behind 0-2 now. Lifted down the line in left. Gardner is after it. And he makes a nice catch on the track. Is that it? Now in the box, Aaron Hicks set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Hard on the ground towards short. And there's one away. Now batting. Third base. Riding in once again, Miguel Andujar. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Popped him up. And there's the second out as he squeezes it in the coach's box. Now batting. Coming to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. One one takes a pitch for strike number two. Look out! That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Four runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Hit on the ground to short, taken in by Machado. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Stepping into the box, number 13 comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Fouled away. The 0 2 once more from Sabathia. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. And it's one and two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. A look at our line now score here him. through the first That's four, and as we've mentioned, okay. just one hit for these guys this afternoon. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. One out, nobody on. in there and it's 0 2 now just a touch outside one and two wow that's a tough pitch to take 0 2 fastball just off the corner and I mean just off the corner 
Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. That's back-to-back punch-outs, and he's really starting to rack them up now, guys. I've got eight strikeouts in my scorebook for him now, so he's got good stuff. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fought off. But the plate is his chop foul. The 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Here's the 0 2 from Sabathia. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here. In the... Now at the plate, Luke Voigt. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. High in the air out to center field. Bellinger's under it. One away. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Here's the first pitch to him. Line towards center field. Bellinger is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Here's Brett Gardner now. Here's the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Machado has it. And he'll throw against his body to first. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is And now is Yasiel Puig to start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent today. No doubt about that. Now, they've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and he's got a real good count at 2-0. 3-0 oh. oh now. And that's in there, three and one. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That'll bring in Austin Barnes. That's 10 strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. And there's the slider from Sabathia as he jumps ahead. Nothing in one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. No wow, that's four straight Ks. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. And this is strike three called. Make it five straight punch outs. Two away now. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound right now. That's five straight punch outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. Sabathia really putting all of his body behind that fastball. It's strike one. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. Hit down the third baseline. Andahar brings it in. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is... Aaron Judge will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. 1-0 and oh the count. Hey. 
strike. And a fastball in there for a strike. One and one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Three and one. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. Full count, three and two. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Hernandez arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. The wind up and the 0-1. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. The one two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Here's Didi Gregorius. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. In comes Bellinger. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Digging in, Kike Hernandez. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And a good job to lay off the fastball there close, but it's one and one. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. I'll tell you what, Dero, this guy's been on point. After that Number knock, that's only their second knock of the game, and it's getting late into this one. Yeah, it's frustrating. You can see it from the manager to the hitting coach to everyone in this lineup. They are really upset with the way they've swung the bats. Maybe this is the start of something late. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity for them to get on the board right now. Leadoff man has done his job. Now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. Now Sabathia's 1-1. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners. Here's Manny Machado now. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. Machado awaits the 2-0. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Three and one is the count of the Dodgers shortstop. A swing and a ground ball to third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. The runner from second scores as they inch a bit closer. Hey, there's still time left in this one, Dero. With that base hit here in the seventh inning, they're still tripping.
Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. And it looks like that'll be the end of the afternoon for CC Sabathia. Dylan Batensis comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Ball one. Turner at second. Machado at first with no outs. Pulled toward right center field. Judges under it. One away. Now a long throw to third. And the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the flyout. Digging in once again, Cody Bellinger. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And as Dodger fans have heard for years, she is out of here. Looking at that pitch again, you can see he just flat out missed his location. You put that pitch right there, and he's going to tattoo it. Now we're all tied up again, starting this thing all over. So here's Matt Kemp now. No balls and a strike to count. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gardner is there. Two down. Now a step off as they try to get on the same page. And signals crossed that time, so he'll step off and try again. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing and a miss at a ball down. Four runs here in this half inning. A one and one count to Puig. And a knuckle curve missed that time. Two and one. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three. Stepping up now, Aaron Hicks. Leading he doubled earlier in the game, one for Better two to him. this point. Aaron. Aaron. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Damn. Right over the middle, knee high. Damn. Way out in front. I'm no hitting okay. expert, but you can't take a swing that's a whole lot more uglier than that one. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And the throw is there to record the first out. So stepping in, Miguel Andujar. No hits and two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. And the first pitch here is below the knees, but he gets him to chase it, and it's 0-1. Hey, if I'm on the mound right now and I get a swing and miss like that, I'm bouncing it even further, throwing it even higher. I might pick up the rosin bag and throw that and see if I could get a swing and a miss. Swing and a soft liner. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting. Ready for another chance. Gary Sanchez. Oh, for two for him to this point. Nope. And he lays off there, one and oh. Looks at a changeup in there, one and one. All knotted up, 4-4, four, four, the score here in the seventh. Line drive to left. That gets down, and the inning continues. Bottom of the seventh inning will go at least one plate appearance deeper after the two-out hit. Settling in now, Luke Boyd. He flew out in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center, but he'll flag this one down toward the alley. Ready once again, Austin Barnes. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. 
He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. And he'll step off. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And a step off. Set and the two and one pitch. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Walks are never. David Robertson is on to pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. And he'll step off and try and reset. Robertson. He's set and the three and one pitch. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. Line drive to center field. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on base to kick off the inning. Here's Brian Dozier now. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. Bullet back up the middle. Hicks patrolling center makes the play one out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Next for the Dodgers, Kike Hernandez is working on a one for three thus far. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Flying toward right center. Hicks is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Stepping into the box, Justin Turner. Lifetime numbers versus David Robertson. He's hitless in three at-bats. One ball, no strikes the count. Called strike at the knees, one and one. Popped high in the air. Robertson just to the right of the mound, and that retires the side. Your attention, please. Call to the bullpen complete as the right-handed workhorse Ryan Madsen set to take over. First pitch on its way. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. I'm set with the 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And he misses 2-1. and one. Heading out towards shallow right. We coming on. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Stepping up to the plate, Brett Gardner. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Pulled toward right center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Here's big Aaron Judge. Career numbers with Madsen. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. From the stretch. Now a drive by Judge. Deep left field. Hernandez retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. Here's Manny Machado now. Single homer run in his last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher to get ahead right there. You know you've got a star hitter at the plate. He's not afraid to go to two strikes or go deep in the count. That's what you have to do. You have to put him at a disadvantage with the count. Judge is on the move. He's got it one away. In now, number 13. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Circle change there, called strike one. 
And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Well, you're in trouble at the plate if you fall behind this guy, 0-2. So that was a good job to hold up right there. Bases are empty, one man out. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. He went deep to the tune of a three run job his last time up. Going back to that last A.B., that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. Now the 0-2 pitch, and he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom. Next will be the designated hitter, John Carlos Stanton. He'll be the one to get us going here in the bottom of inning number nine. Giancarlo swings and this ball is hit well into left field. Oh, and that nearly sent us home and sent this crowd into hysterics, but it'll wind up a foul ball. On its way, the 0 1 pitch turned on down the line and a diving effort there at third. Good way to bruise your ribs. How much for one of them ribs? It's a foul ball. Here it comes on nothing and two. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Nope. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. You know, there aren't many guys that could just spit on an 0-2 pitch like that. Maybe it fooled him. We won't ever know, but it worked out line toward right center and it's a base hit so there you go the potential winning run aboard to start off the home half of the night and just like that the winning run is into second base with a lead off double here Didi Gregorian he's gone hitless to this point not a great game up to this point but none of that would matter if he could come through right here a chance to be the hero a ball of no strikes Possible winning run on second. No one out. Hey. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. The one and one pitch. And he fouls this one off. Now the one and two pitch. Popped him up. Machado is there. Makes the play one away. Now back. Ready now. Aaron Hicks. Career numbers with Madsen. He's one for three. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. The 0 1. And that one just missed outside. Zero. Needed a sand wedge for that one, swung on and missed. Well, he's hoping to be a hero and drive in the winning run, but that swing tells me he's a little too amped up. You don't chase a pitch that badly if you're playing within yourself. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. Two balls and two strikes to Hicks now. Here's the 2 2 pitch. High pop up. Machado is there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Here's Miguel Andujar now. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. 
Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Here's the first pitch. This is lined into left field, and it's going to fall for a base hit. And they're going to walk off here with a 5-4 win. Well, that at-bat shows clearer than anything that some guys, they, they have that clutch gene, and some guys just don't. He brings home the winning run from second and is being absolutely mobbed by his teammates. What a finish. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our tops player of the game. Well, he blasted a couple of balls over the wall in this one, really put the guys on his back and carried him to the victory.